juicy skelly donut value. Trying to get the CC. The monolith. The multi-targeting invis tower. He might even pick up the poison tower as well. Yes. Ooh, baby. Look at that value. CC. Monolith. Multi. Poison tower. Jeez. Welcome your faces back, ladies and gentle fingers, to the next matchup here in the quarterfinals of the Itsu Cup playoffs. We got MS Esports versus Strut here. Only three teams left. If you missed the last video, go check it out. <clears throat> I will quickly show you which teams are still in. If you're on YouTube, you gotta pause it right now. There's the eight teams. Boom. That's all the time you get. Ball. We got a battle blimp from Kingsman coming in. A little Yeti bomb with a rage spell, taking out that scatter shot. Pulling the clan castle troops, and he's starting his queen on the top side with some healers. And it's gonna be a queen charge hybrid attack. Okay. <clears throat> a hound and two rocket balloons. Queen will easily be able to deal with all that if we use the poison spell, and there it is. Coco balloon searching for traps, doesn't find any, but that's okay. Queen pops a hound, takes care of the pups. Two to three business days later, we'll be able to get moving toward. The town, all chamber. Couple balloons on the right side to funnel that archer tower. The pathing for the queen to get to the town hall looks pretty straightforward. You do have to worry about that invisibility tower behind the town hall, though. Could get a little tricky. Did he lose one healer to that air defense? I think he might have lost one. That's all right. Okay. Aggressive rage on the queen there. We send a headhunter to help her fight the barbarian king. Eagle Artillery wakes up, locks onto the Queen, so we're going to go ahead and start the hybrid from the left side of the base. Phoenix with the King. Miners, Hog Riders, Royal Champion, Warden. We're even using Poison Lizard with the Grand Warden to help out. Poison Tower got a chance to recharge and went off on the Queen again. He's working on Skelly Traps, still has yet to activate the Town Hall. We're going to heal the hybrid through the Eagle Artillery, freeze the Invis Tower as the Queen locks onto the Town Hall. She takes it out thanks to that Rage Spell. Before the Invis Tower had a chance to go off, now it does. Queen gonna make her way up toward the Wizard Tower. That's actually looking great. Invis Tower is not gonna be able to accomplish that much. Raise the Queen again. Pop the Warden ability. Everybody invincible for a few seconds. Monolith locks onto the Warden, so after his ability wears off, he might go down. We pop the Queen ability. She takes out the enemy Queen, takes out the Invis Tower. It's looking decent as Warden gets out of range of the Monolith. Tornado Trap over here on the left, spinning. Road Champs distracted by Skellies. Rochamp has her ability. We use her last freeze to try and keep the queen alive, but she still dies. Rochamp gonna pop her ability. We got an invisibility spell to help her out. It's looking great for Kingsman of MS Esports. Diggy stuns the scatter. We knock it out. Healers distracting the monolith as the Diggy gets in there and stuns it for the royal champion to take it out. 25 seconds to go. Swag invisibility spell and a clan clash triple for Kingsman, the captain of MSD Sports, to start things off in this match. Philip is in with the next attack. The first attack for Strut. We get a triple here and tie things right back up. He's going in with some Electro Titan Smash. Some zappy Zappy action. Takes out the scatter shot. Next bow. And sets up Funnel for the rest of the smash. Warden gonna get the cannon. Down south, and the funnel's already pretty much set. We could start right now. What's he waiting for? Just wasting time at this point. Well, balloons on the left for that multi mortar. Flame flinger's gonna go left, get a ton of value. I already dropped the queen over here and pulled the warden. Just wasting seconds now. There goes Ice Golem, King, Skeleton Spell, E Titan on the right side. Drops another healer on the warden. Why is he still letting the warden walk by himself? The funnel's already made. Here we go. Now we drop the queen to pull the warden. That still feels like a big waste of almost 30 seconds. King takes out the single on the right side of the base. We freeze the X bow as it locked onto the Grand Warden. E Titans are making their way inside. Poison Tower goes off. We need the healers to switch. We might have to pop warden ability early, and he does. Everybody invincible for now. Flame Flinger still looking good on the left side of the base. King wrapping around, setting the funnel. So all these E Titans have to go in the town hall compartment, take everything out in there. Triple Ice Golem CC coming out. Single target in front of the tower locking onto our E-Titans. Invis Tower going off. Queen rerouting back around to the left. Monolith locks onto her. That's awkward. King goes down. We send Royal Champion on the right. Queen went to ability. Honestly looking a little wonky here. 
Got one freeze left. Use it to keep the queen alive through the monolith. He does. Wants that queen to stay alive. Road champion gonna have to pop a billet. Oh, she already did. She's dead. That single gonna stay up. Looking sketchy. Sketchy for Philip. Everything died by that town hall. Big yikes. Get through the eagle artillery finally. He was trying to keep this queen alive. Lots of Teslas on the left side of the base. Flame Flinger gonna pop open. He's sending all of his barbarians to the single. That's at like full health. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Dragon Rider rocket balloons coming out of that flame flinger on the left side of the base. Queen's dead. Warden goes down. Looking like a defense for MS Esports. All up to the diggy. Takes out the Archer Tower. Takes out the Tesla as well. Diggy kind of OP. The Expo locks on and it's gonna fall short at 87%. Nice try to fill up, but not good enough here to beat Arium's base. Cynthia is in with 38 hog riders. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Uses one down south to test for traps. Flame Flinger in at six o'clock. Going with the Skelly Smelly Donut over here for the Clan Castle, the Monolith, and the Scattershot. And he gets the Monolith, gets the Scatter, gets the Clan Castle building. Perfect start so far for Cynthia. <clears throat> Giant Hogs to take out the Cannon King to walk down. Queen to go toward the Town Hall. Our two Poison Towers over there that we have to worry about. We're using an E Titan to help support that queen. King's gonna go inside here. He did pull that first poison tower. And the Valkyrie to help with the skellies. Okay, okay. We don't have a wall breaker for the queen, so it could get a little interesting here. He's gonna go right inside the wall gap. As he drops the balloons for the cannon. King did find like all the Tessas. Need to pop his ability. Second poison tower goes off. <clears throat> we pop that king ability. Town Hall will be secure. Send a couple of Hoggies to pick up the Mortar so Flame Flinger can get all the way to the Scatter. And I'm guessing we're going to see Hogs from... Oh, we're just going to send them straight to the Eagle. Here we go. Okay. Who cares about funneling? <laughs> all the Hogs. Lots of Headhunters. Pop the Warden ability right away. Road Champions in as well. We got the Poison Lizard with the Warden. We're going to start freezing up the Multi. Heal on the left. Heal on the right. Both groups of Hoggies are healed. We're popping that Queen ability. Flame Flinger taking out the Scatter Shot. We get through the left multi. Hogs trying their best to get through the middle multi. One headhunter going for it, and he takes it out. Clutch headhunter. Rest of the hogs with the warden taking out the other inferno. Lots more hog riders that he sent for backup over here from the left side of the base. We got a free spell. We got royal champ ability. It's absolutely clan clashed. MS Synthy getting it done, bro. This guy is the hog. Rider Whisperer. It's a three star and MS Esports are two for two. Pressure on Strut. Man, they desperately need a three star. They have a chance. Start keeping up with MS Esports. And they're going in with a little skelly action of their own. Trying to get the CC, the Multi, and the Eagle? He might get all three. Perfectly placed Invis. Gets the CC. Gets the Eagle. Gets the Multi. Ooh. Free triggers the poison tower, but it might have a chance to recharge. Probably will. E Titan, Archer Queen on the right side of the base, and balloons for the cannon. All right, all right, all right. King on the right. Oh, the town hall woke up early. Did the sneaky goblin touch it? I think so. so we're gonna have to use the invis on the queen. We go for the expo first. Oh, there's also an invis tower there. That's super awkward. But that's a juicy freeze. Queen gets the expo. Queen going for the town hall. Does she take it before the invis tower goes off? Yes. Town hall secured. King and royal champion working on the right side of the base. Okay, we popped that king ability, but we didn't do any funneling for him to go in, though. But he still goes in. Royal champion going for the scatter. Diggy gonna stun. And the unicorn switched over to the RC. Bro, that's clutch. Clutch. Down goes the Diggy, but we can pop the RC ability. We can freeze to keep her alive. 
We got the Lalo coming in on the top side of the base after Town Hall woke up. Was it an E Titan aura that woke up the Town Hall? Maybe. Hound flying across the map inside the Warden ability. We got Headhunters, Owl, trying to take out the enemy Archer Queen, and they do. Stone Slammer coming in from the left side. Royal Champion still alive. Gonna be able to make her way over to that multi-targeting Inferno Tower. The Lava Hound pulls the Poison Tower. We use the heal spell. Did he use it a little bit too early? No, I think that was good. I think this is a great plan. Could be crushed. As long as we can get through the Monolith here. Bro, Champion's gonna go down. We got a lot of balloons. It just depends on traps now. If there's no red bombs, he gets it for sure. But if there are red bombs, he could be in trouble. But it looks like there aren't any over here. He's got so many balloons cruising through the base. Nice plan from Esk of Strut. Gonna be able to get it done. Down goes this base and Strut are right back in this match. They are one for two. But any slip up from MS Esports and Strut can catch up. Beautiful attack here. With the Sui Lalo, the Skelly Donut Lalo from Esk. Amualin! is in with some zappy zappy action going for an expo and three defenses on the left okay the other defense is gonna get repaired but we're sending warden at a funnel he's got super archers on this attack man i'm Walim going for something a little creative although we've seen the power of super archers so we can already kind of get a feel for what's going to happen here He's going to send the Super Archer Smash in here and into the channel, and they can kind of reach everything. They can. Oh, they can reach every. Can they even reach the Town Hall? This channel? See, there's five gaps between the wall and the Town Hall. Can they reach it? I can't remember the exact Super Archer range for a Town Hall over a wall. But they're definitely going to be able to reach all three Inferno Towers. We send Ice Golem, E-Titan, Super Archers are in. We got healers. I think we're gonna send King on the outside. Here comes CC troops, but it doesn't matter. He's gonna battle blimp the town hall, because I'm not sure if the super archers can reach it or not. Either way, he doesn't want to worry about it. There goes King on the south side. Eagle locked on, but it, that warden ability is keeping everybody safe. Invis tower goes off. If you have enough other troops, what the heck's the point of that freeze? Uh, sneaky goblins secure the town hall. We froze the eagle once. Skeleton spell on the right to distract the other barbarian king. We're raging up the healers. They're keeping the super archers alive. Super archers going for the second inferno tower. Gonna be able to take it out. We got a headhunter to help the king fight the king. Royal champions in over there as well. Super archers, hurry up and take out that single. Why are they not going for the single? All of the super archers are dead. Uh oh. The single stayed up. He could be in trouble. Why did all of the super archers die? Did the eagle hit them? We got two more on the bottom side. Actually, we're gonna take out that inferno off the chain. Oh, <laughs> they do. RC pops her ability, but with everything dead, it's too little, too late. Pro champion definitely needs to get the expo. Biggie's gonna stun. King moving around the right side of the base, but we already popped his ability. The royal champion getting out in front. Scatter shot's gonna kill her, and it's gonna fizzle out. Rip Amualin. This is the defense that Strut needed to get right back in the match. I feel like that was a great plan. But his Super Archers unfortunately got targeted early by like the Eagle or something. If those Archers stayed alive just a little bit longer. They would have crushed through this base. Now Philip of Strut got 87%. Amualin here needs to beat that. Phoenix brings the King back alive. That gets him 87. Then he's going to get 88. Okay. No matter what, EMS Esports is going to be able to maintain the lead. But if Strut triple, they're going to tie it up on stars. And if Strut do triple, EMS are only going to be up by one building. Oh, this is going to be interesting. 88% here. Mask is in. Next attack for Strut. If he triples, we're going to be all tied up. Trying hard to get this three star. Pressure's on. Couple sneaky goblins on the bottom. Balloons on the left of funnel. It's gonna be a queen charge. Lalo attack. Already used one wall breaker to bust open that solo archer tower compartment. We got two more breakers. Need a rage and headhunter. There we go. Queen will get through the king. Drama there. Be able to reach the air defense. And you making her way toward the right. 
the wall breaker in toward the expo. Scattershot, enemy, archer, queen. Looking good. There's an invis tower between that town hall and monolith. It'll be interesting to see what his plan is here. Queen taking a wonky pathing. Really doesn't want to take that wall break. Now she does. Still fight the enemy queen. Nicely timed headhunter inside that rage spell so we don't have to use a freeze. Eagle artillery is awake, but it shoots the headhunter. The headhunter pulled the poison tower. Yo, that was actually clutch. That was clutch. King, royal champion, warden, log launcher. Here we go, bro. He's going for the old school. Town all 14. Lexno style. Full send kill squad and then a clean up Lala later. Pop that warden ability after popping the king ability. They're making their way over toward the enemy royal champion. Headhunter and the warden ability helping to take her out. We got a wall break. Queen has access to the town hall. Main threat now is the monolith. Gotta keep an eye on that. Also the invis tower could be a little tricky. Oh queen the ability might go off because of this monolith. He's gonna go with the invis. Royal champions on the upper side of the base taking out the scatter shot over there with the diggy to help support. Queen wraps back around toward the right. When's that Invis Tower gonna go off. Somebody needs to damage that monolith. Pre-trigger the Invis so Queen doesn't have to worry about it. King gonna damage it. Invis gonna go off. Queen gonna be able to get the Town Hall once the Invis wears off. We pop RC ability. There's not much base left. King takes out the monolith. We rage the baby Lalo. Pop the Queen ability. Down goes the Town Hall. And the base is absolutely deleted. He's got swag free spells, bro. This is crushed. What an attack from Mask. And we are all tied up. Eight stars apiece. Arium is in. Next attack for MS Esports. It's eight to eight. MS Esports are up by one building on percent. Pressure on both teams now as Arium goes in with his Skelly Donut Lalo. Rage on the left. Invis is in. Skeleton, skeleton, and bat spell. Going for a nice, juicy, juicy skelly donut value. Trying to get the CC. The monolith. The multi targeting Invis tower. He might even pick up the poison tower as well. Yes. Woo! Baby, look at that value. CC, monolith, multi poison tower. Jeez. Crazy good value. Yeti to funnel. Queen meant to go take out the town hall. All right. Ice Golem with the queen. One wall breaker on the left. We got another wall breaker. Just to make sure queen is going to go in for the town hall. Here we go. She can go in from the south side or the west side. King on the left. He's going to go toward the archer queen. Cool, cool, cool. Ice Golem pops, freezes up. Queen is still slowly getting toward the town hall. That expo is hitting pretty hard. Can we hold the ability until after the storage is dead? No, so we're going to go with the Invis spell. Help her out. Royal Champion, Wizard in to help support the King on the left side of the base. Looks like there's a bunch of Teslas over there. We pop King ability. There's going to be Skelly Traps too. Lots of Skelly Traps. Queen pops her ability. Town hall secured. King needs to hurry up and get this Archer Queen. We're going to use a free spell just to make sure we get through it all. And we start the Lalo into the Eagle Artillery. Stone Slammer's up at 12 o'clock. There is still a Poison Tower over here that could make things a little wonky. Ground Bow locks onto the Royal Champion, so we gotta pop her ability. She's gonna get stuck on the King. She's gonna end up going down. He's gonna use Warden way over here on the right. That way we can make sure the Headhunters target the Royal Champion right away. Poison Tower already went off on the Lava Hound, or some Lava Pups, I should say. We pop that Warden ability. More balloons coming out of the stone slammer. Can they take out the multi? We freeze, but the red bombs crush them. Down go all those balloons. It's up to the dragon rider to pick up that multi. 52 seconds on the clock. We're hasting in for the right side multi. Diggy is still alive, and he's actually following the warden. It's crazy how that happens. When the royal champion dies, the diggy just switches and goes and helps the warden. And the diggy actually stunned the multi, stuns the builder hut. Bro, diggy is still coming in clutch. Even after the Royal Champion dies. That's so cool. The base is gone. Another three star from MS Esports. They are looking so strong at Town Hall 15.
Let's see if Strut can keep up with their next attack. Here goes Stiglitz. He is in with some Queen Charge. Dragon Rider action. For Strut, he needs a three star. Keep his team in this match. He's going with a Flame Flinger on the left. Queen to walk down. Got healers on her. When do we wall break? Right there. So she has access to the cannon. We'll take it out. Balloon's pulling two archers out of the clan castle. Okay. Rocket balloons coming out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Poison spell was a little late. How much damage is the queen taking? Is she okay? He's okay. He's okay. We're freaking out for nothing. I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. King on the bottom side. Queen gets locked onto by the monolith. We rage. We invis. Oh, nicely timed invis. That saved her. He kills the enemy queen. She gets the storage. Still getting closer and closer to that monolith. We still might need another freeze to deal with the monolith. Or do we? Can she get through it? He does? Oh, that's clutch. King will take out the eagle, and Queen gonna be making her way toward the town hall. One poison tower goes off on her. Flame Flinger died, but the Dragon Rider gets through the single. That should set the pathing. Path Queen has to go for the town hall now. The pathing path on both sides, the funneling is just too good. Queen's gonna go through the left wall gap to get there. Okay. Gonna freeze that town hall. Trying to keep the healers alive since the Dragon Rider's from the top side of the base. Loses a Dragon Rider right away to a double Sam. Another Dragon Rider got hit by a third Sam. Then the Royal Champion. Get ready to pop a Juicy Warden ability. Yes, sir. There we go. Queen taking out the enemy Royal Champion. Actually need the Headhunters to go help take out the Kings. The Royal Champion on offense can stay alive longer. We rage. They did a lot of damage to the king, but they didn't quite take him out. Royal Champion might be able to finish him off. Queen pops her ability, finds the Tornado Trap. She's doing the Disco Dance. We use her last freeze on the Ground Bow and the multi-targeting Inferno Tower. Got to get through this air defense. Can we do it? Yes, we can. This base is crushed. Another great plan from Hugo Stiglitz. Keeping Strut in this match, and it's still all tied up. 11 to 11, but MS Esports with the lead by one building try hard is in with the next attack here the last attack for ms esports zappy zaps for the expo the poison tower okay healers with the queen it's gonna be another queen charge dragon rider attack we've seen a lot of dragon riders today cool queen will be able to snipe the air defense keep walking left we'll wall break her in toward the multi-targeting inferno tower i think Wall Wrecker in for the Town Hall. All right, all right. Balloon searching for Seeking Air Mines. Wall Wrecker will be able to secure the Town Hall, assuming there's some sneaky goblins in there. Rocket Balloons coming out of the CC. There we go, Sneaky's on the Town Hall. They will secure it. Drop the Poison spell. We need an Archer and Minion for these other Archers. Yes, sir. Looking decent so far for Tryhard. Sneaky's also pulled the Tornado Trap behind the Town Hall. So if his spotters saw that, they can tell him. He doesn't have to worry about the Tornado for the rest of the attack. Cool. King with the Phoenix on the left side of the base. He's going to tank the Eagle Artillery shells as it just woke up. Julio. Oh, look at that wall break, bro. Queen has access to the entire core of the base. We're going to rage her up. We're going to send the... Royal Champion to help support the King. Send a couple of Headhunters as we pop the King ability. Monolith locks onto the Queen. It's going to take forever to go take it out, too. Oh, boy. Why is she beating on a wall? Queen, he wants you to go to the core. Oh, that Queen is not helping him out. She needs to go to the core. Take out the Monolith and the other Sweeper. Oh, that's awkward. She's going to get through the wall. She's not going to get the Monolith. Oh, she switches when the wall's on 1 HP! Yo! <laughs> Pop her ability. She gets the monolith. Dragon Rider's on the top side. We don't have any more headhunters, though. We can pop the Warden ability, keep the Royal Champ alive, and she can take out the enemy Royal Champ. Oh, he already used the Warden ability. Queen's dead. No more spell support. These Dragon Riders are getting clapped. Uh-oh. Try hard in big trouble. And percent here does matter. Every percentage point counts to make it harder for Strut to win the match on their last attack. 
Ugh, he doesn't have great percent though. Rip try hard, man. Got the wall breaker. We got minions on the top side. The phoenix goes down and the clock is ticking. It's barely going to be like an 80% attack. Oh no. MS Esports were up by one. So whatever percent tryhard gets, strut need two more than that to win. This one going to fall short at 79. The strut need an 80 to tie an 81 to win the match. <clears throat> Ast is in with some super bowlers to end the match. And here we go. He needs an 81% two star or better to win the match and send his team to the semifinals of the Itsu Cup Christmas edition playoffs. Flame Flingers in on the top side. In the funnel. Warden is in super late on the left side of the base. Why did he wait so long to deploy the Warden? We're already down to 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Flame Flinger going for the mortar. Warden going to get the cannon. We need a Warden to get the air defense and the mortar. 2 minutes on the clock. I mean, he only needs 81%, so he really... It doesn't matter if he time fails, bro. As long as he gets the 81, it's GG's. Rages up the Warden. Gets the cannon. Okay. And here we go. Gonna smash from the top left side of the base. Flame Flinger still getting phenomenal value. There's a gap in the walls that we can use and abuse as we make our way inside and penetrate the base. Jump and spell to get us the rest of the way toward the town hall chamber. Healers switching over to the super bowlers is looking good. We send the second rage already. CC troops are coming out. We pop that ward ability. Everybody invincible for now. Bowlers take out the multi. We're sending king on the left side of the base. Flame flinger going for the ego artillery. Royal champion behind the king. We're going to use the skeleton spell to help distract the monolith and some of the Teslas. We got the town hall. Yeti's coming out of the Flame Flinger. 53% in climbing. He needs that 81. Popping the King ability. Road Champion already took quite a bit of damage. Diggy's still alive? Yes, Diggy's stunning the Monolith. No more spells. They're actually fizzling out fast. Is he really not going to get the 81? Bro, everything's dead. He's only at 66. Yeti's trying to get more buildings. Phoenix bringing the King back to life. 71, he needs nine more buildings. Come on, come on. Diggy stuns the multi. All the Yetis are dead. Phoenix going for another building. Royal Champion's dead. He's got no archers, no minions for percent. How do you not bring any archers or minions if Phoenix takes out the archer tower, but she doesn't have enough time? Asked. Not able to get 81%. When his team needs an 81. Rip. The Barbarian. Not enough time. It's 76%. And MS Esports win the match with the huge defense at the very end. What the heck? 13. The 13. 93.4 to 92.6.